The full moon supermoon July 2022 for July will occur in the second week, on Wednesday July 13. This full moon is in the astrological sign of Capricorn. This will also be a super full moon. A super moon is closer to the Earth than a normal moon, and this one promises to be the closest out of all of the super moons in 2022. A super moon is brighter and an apparently larger full moon due to it being near its closest point to the Earth in its orbit, the perigee. How much bigger and brighter is it? At most, it appears about 14% larger and up to 30% brighter. Because of the influence that both emotion and motivation play in this super moon, it's a great opportunity to channel your inner Virgo, no matter your sign, and declutter every aspect of your life. It's a great time for a ritual or for a self-care practice that helps you deepen your sense of self-worth. July's full moon is called the full thunder moon, after the frequent thunderstorms that roll in during early summer. Thunderstorms are more likely to form in humid environments during summer because of the moist, hot air rising from the ground to the higher, colder parts of our atmosphere. The full thunder moon is, therefore, a warning sign for a surprisingly dangerous time of the year. Lightning can strike from up to 10 miles away, and nothing can protect you when you're outdoors. Full moons are primal times for manifestation and climaxes. This lunation can bring out everyone's inner animal. While astrologers usually associate this side effect with passion, it can also lead to fights, and there are even studies that show crime does go up during a full moon. Sleeping under the full moon is one of the best cleansing rituals you can do for your body. In this process, your body will be brought back to balance as the full moon helps release your body from any harmful negativity. The astrological sign Capricorn is ruled by strict Saturn and associated with the 10th house of social status. As a result, this full moon illuminates your professional life. Full moons can be dramatic, but that's not always a bad thing. Remember, they are also powerful times of manifestation. The Capricorn full moon could bring exciting new professional opportunities and bursts of energy, helping you complete a project. The full thunder moon is a great time for you to brush up on your lightning safety knowledge and educate other people as well. Make sure to stay far away from any plumbing, metal objects, electronic devices and equipment, or anything that might conducts electricity during a storm. Avoid windows or doors at all costs. Feel free to head to the wild outdoors to observe deer, whose velvety antlers are growing out during this period, which is why July's full moon is also known as the full buck moon. But also make sure to take the necessary safety precautions. July's full moon is also called the full buck moon because it's normally around the time when the new antlers on bucks begin to show. There are lots of animals that can lose and regrow body parts like this. But deer are the only mammals with this trick. And deer do it really well, antlers have one of the fastest regrowing times out of all of these body parts. Today, scientists are interested in learning more about how the process works in hopes of applying those techniques to human medicine in the future. Some tribes and early colonists referred to the full moon in July as the hay moon. The hay moon was a signal to farmers to start storing their hay for winter. It has also been called the Blueberry Moon. This full moon is going to bring about interesting encounters in your personal life, as well as fun and stimulating events. The full moon of July often casts an exuberant vibe, making it a great time to have a party. Candlelight and dramatic bouquets add a touch of transformational magic to your entertaining. Dinner gatherings are a way of celebrating family, co-workers, friends and foods that have traditional meaning. This also opens the door for meaningful people to step into your life. But there is a dark side to this moon. A full moon has exciting energy, but there is also a dark side we must deal with. Some astrologists believe this July full moon can be a dangerous one. According to Astrology King, the position of the moon directly opposite of the Sun and Mars creates such intensely hot energy that it will be difficult to control. Incoming and outgoing energies must match. You can't expect to receive great energy if the one you give off is terrible. Act on principle. Even if someone has done something wrong to you, don't retaliate. Let karma address it. 
To forgive is to detach from the anger, bitterness, and frustration you harbor internally. Every person is fighting his or her own battles with karma energy. The sooner we identify the sources of our unsettled karma and take action to resolve it, the sooner we experience the miracle of liberation. Do good, even when you're not expected to. When in doubt, act in ways you would want others to act toward you. The full moon is the time to stay calm, let things go, breathe deeply through difficult moments and forgive others for their mistakes. Once we've learned to understand our emotions, we need to learn what to do with them. Understanding our emotions may lead us to have healthy conversations with loved ones. If we've buried our emotions for a long time, it can be very painful to face them. Often it can seem like things are getting worse before we learn to deal with how we feel. Don't give up before you receive the healing benefits of getting more in tune with yourself. Look to meditation to help in the healing process. Join us at www.secretserendipity.com where great insights reveal deep discoveries. Where great insights can impact future choices and attitudes. Where we strive for a deeper understanding of the power of the universe.